by the request of the family, this court will be sentencing without comment. And everyone knows how hard that's going to be for me because the court considers this the worst of the offense. The judge sends a strong message during the sentencing of a man who made national headlines for raping and impregnating a child. Hassan Fuentes changed his plea today and will now serve life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. This case shocking the nation last year after the girl ended up traveling to Indiana to get an abortion following the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe versus Wade. Investigator Haley Nelson's been following the case from the start and was in the court today. She joins us now live from the courthouse with more on the sentencing. Haley. Bob Stacia, a deal was reached in this case, avoiding the need for a trial. Fuentes will serve life in prison with the possibility of parole in 25 years. Today in the courtroom, the judge sent a very direct message, and we did see multiple law enforcers show up inside to be on standby, so to speak. This court will be sentencing without comment, and everyone knows how hard that's going to be for me because the court considers this the worst of the offense. But the family has asked for me to sentence without counsel. The family has agreed to this, and this is a hard pill for this court to swallow. Strong words from Judge Julie Lynch after Herson Fuentes changed his plea to guilty Wednesday on rape charges, a deal being reached in the case that garnered national attention and sparked outrage. If that family hadn't begged me, to take this joint recommendation, this would never be happening. Prosecutors detailing a timeline in court. Fuentes now pleading guilty to rape. The victim was nine years old at the time and later traveled with her mother to Indiana to get an abortion. On July 6th of 2022, members of the Columbus Police Department went to the uh, child's residence um, to obtain uh, DNA samples from the minor child, uh, as well as all males who were living in the home at the time which included the defendant, Mr. Fuentes, who was the live-in boyfriend of the child's mother. Prosecutors said Fuentes' DNA was a match. Judge Lynch asking Fuentes if he understood Fuentes communicating through an interpreter, only saying yes. Do you understand you're waiving these rights when you enter this guilty plea? Yes. I'm willing to have tried, folks, just so everybody knows. He will also have to check in for life as a tier three sex offender. A total of life in prison with the possibility of parole, the possibility of parole in 25 years. The prosecution team did not have a comment for us after court. Fuentes' defense team says he was anxious to have this resolved. Uh, we're happy that we were able to get it done today for everybody involved. And Fuentes has been in custody. He was taken away today. We've put even more on ABC6onyourside.com. Live at the Franklin County Courthouse, I'm Haley Nelson.